Hey what's up my name's Cameron and this is Design Based, a channel where I talk about everything design and today's video is going to be some of my favorite fonts. So all the fonts here are from Adobe fonts. That means if you're already paying for Creative Cloud with Photoshop and Illustrator, you'll already have access to these for free and you can simply search Adobe fonts and download them there. Otherwise I did try to make sure that I included some versatile fonts and not just some unicorns that can do one thing. A lot of these fonts can work for a variety of uses and you'll see that through the examples here. So let's get into the first one. The first font that I really like here is Brandon Grotesque and this is one that if you've seen my projects you might have seen a couple times but why do I like this so much and what makes it a good font? Well I think it's really just a good natural font that is also quite readable and you'll see that is a bit of a commonality with a lot of fonts here. Some of my favorites are the ones that are fairly standard but just bringing just enough personality and I think this is really one of those. It definitely brings its personality. You'll see it's kind of bold and it definitely has a bit of a hand-drawn feel so in my use this is something like outdoorsy but you can do a lot with it from maybe a little less professional and a little more personable of a business to something completely outdoors oriented and let's show some examples off here and just why I like this so much. So I personally use these for my branding project for one of my last years of university and this is for a theoretical thing called all-terrain excursions which is guided tours on Vancouver Island. So then how am I actually using that typeface here? Well it's the one I'm using for all my body copy and just the things where the words have to be readable and there's a lot of them. Just because the font I'm using in the logo is quite bold, natural, and we'll actually talk about that in a second here, but not too great for sentences, whereas this is the perfect mix of readable with a bit of personality. I just love how this feels so slightly natural and just really approachable and fun, so that's why I chose this one and I just think it works great. You'll also see here that it just makes a good looking font where you want the type to speak but also be quite readable and I think this example captures that super well too. And then the next font here is probably one of the more boring ones but it's still a great font. A lot of the time boring means versatile and that is definitely the case with Gibson. So Gibson falls into the category of pretty basic geometric sans serifs with things like Gotham and Montserrat but I find Gibson is a little closer to Helvetica and is really just a good font that you can really use wherever you need. Almost any time you need body copy this will work well but if you go into the bolder weights it actually works super well for titles too. Too, and you'll see in my examples that's one of the ways I use it but overall Gibson's just a great family with a lot of different weights quite versatile and just a little bit of humanist personality with some of the curves and some of the bolder forms so I use this for my grad show branding and we use this for all of the body copy but also a lot of the headlines so on the promotion here you'll see that all the text that was supposed to be readable is in Gibson and the other ones are just some display fonts but you can see here just changing the weight of Gibson you can do a lot with it. Overall it just really leads with a professional and bold appearance and works great in some uses like this. You'll also see here that obviously it's not the font of the welcome but the Blackstone Valley Prep High School under it is in Gibson and again it just works really well at being bold and readable text. So if you're looking for an everyday font that's gonna work well on a lot of things look no further than Gibson. And then changing directions a lot here we have Rigid Square and obviously so far this is the most unique and out there one but it's still quite versatile and I'm impressed with how many ways you can use it. I really really like this typeface for a variety of reasons. I think with kind of what's popular in esports right now, this one fits right in and feels pretty at home there, but also it is a pretty good typeface for a lot. You'll see using a bold in sentence case does read completely differently than using a lighter weight in capitals, so there's a lot you can do with it, but it's just a great font if you need some cool headings and it really works well, both for the geometric kind of almost streetwear side of things but also more of the techie side so a lot of digital stuff you're doing I think this is a great typeface to use and it's really one I want to find some more uses for now. So one thing I did use it for was a starting soon screen for an esports team and I just think that this is such a great way of bringing in personality and style through this typeface. It's quite readable still but it does have a ton of personality and these corners and I really think it does just lend itself to a lot of great designs. The more geometry you're working with and hard straight lines I think it's gonna work quite well but this is one of my favorite fonts I've found lately just as a really unique 
sleek and bold techie font that has a lot of uses and I could definitely see getting more use in esports as well. So then next is back to one that is kind of a mix of the two categories so it's pretty readable and pretty body copy but also has a lot of personality for it and that is actually why that this is the one I'm using right now for design based so I don't have a website or anything up but if you see any of my thumbnails they're using this as well as some different overlays and in video things but what made me choose this and why do I like it so much well again it is super readable so it works just fine for body copy and it's quite easy to understand what's going on but then it does have a lot of personality so you'll see that it's quite curved and has some bigger things like for example the bowl and the negative space in the P is massive so just a little more personality there. Overall, it's just a really nice font. The curves make it feel quite light and approachable and human, but it also feels almost a little technical or somewhat professional in that aspect. So I just like how broad it is and the context that it offers. And I really personally like using this in the bolder weights with the super bold dots on the I's and the J's. I think it just looks great and brings in some friendliness while also some boldness, which can be something that's hard to capture. So here's an example of one of my thumbnails and I just use it in all caps. Obviously one complaint here might be that the apostrophe is one of almost the prime marks and doesn't have too much of the curve lighter feel but it works well and you could substitute it if you wanted to but again it really just feels quite nice and technical and bold while still being approachable and I love that. There's also some more weights so you can use it with things like italicized. I don't love that as much but it works well for quotes. And then here's an example of a bit different of a use where you're really letting the type speak for itself because it is definitely a a little more standout from something basic like Gibson so you can use this font for all sorts of different things and it really can be used as a type piece and just stand out and get the whole feel you want without needing to add any unnecessary visuals so I just really like how this typeface speaks and how it presents itself so then next up here is Fira Sans and this is another one of those kind of geometric sans serif typefaces that just does a lot one thing I really like here is that it reads quite perfectly as body Body copy in that top example there but I also super love how it reads as a bold headline and I think there's just so much you can do with that lower thing I don't think I've actually made a project with this typeface yet but I'm super excited to in the future and I think this is one of those ones where if you wanted to use just one family for a whole brand it would work great just because of the versatility within it but again you'll hear me repeating this a lot and these are a lot of my favorite typefaces it's so usable and quite simple but with just a bit of personality so you'll see it adds kind of some ink wells or the curve on the cue just to give it some style and I think that really stands out and speaks well. I could definitely see this being used in a viral marketing campaign or something where it's just bringing a little more fun into some bold type. And then here's a bit of a different use of it. It also works well if you just want to stay within the lighter weights and just use it for something like an app or a website, maybe even a book, probably an ebook, but it is just quite easy to read. It's super nice. You'll see in the italics it really feels quite humanist and and if you like what's going on with that Spiegel text there, I'd also check out Brie Sands just as a lot more of the more fun, light, airy, semi-feminine and just quite approachable body copy fonts. This is definitely one you should keep in the repertoire and look at. And then I also really really like this font for some more bolder titling uses but there's not too many examples of that online so I just threw one together really quickly but I just think it looks so good and kind of speaks for itself. If you were running an ad campaign for something like Nike I think this is just the perfect font. It's just so bold and fun and just has a little bit of style to it that I really think it does work great for bold headlines and posters and I'd love to see some of you guys use it for that. And then the next font here is Cubano and you'll see this is definitely a bit more bold and a little more specific or limited in its use. With that being said, there's still a lot of different ways this can be used across different industries or different projects there. So we'll go over some of that. You will see that it is pretty limited Limited. it's all quite bold and there's actually only bold weights there are some italics or sharp ones but it's all bold in caps so this is a font designed for headings and titles maybe things like logos but really that's how it's designed that's how you're gonna have to use it it's not gonna work in body copy but it is just so versatile for headings you'll see it's quite bold but it's also quite fun with the way that the letters are made and quite natural so that's a lot of intersections you can use it for so for example it's on a window out front of my dog's daycare 
character because obviously that incorporates fun and bold, but also different natural things like wilderness, I think it works great for it. So I'll show you some examples there. And I wish I had noticed this sharp variety earlier because this works super well for a little less hand-drawn feeling things, maybe a little more readable. So some smaller headlines and stuff, I think the sharp would work great. So I actually use this for the logo font for my all-terrain excursion stuff that I had been doing earlier and it's just so bold, so natural, and so fun and those are definitely some of the keywords for this brand so it worked great there and I really like how it looks. Other uses I found online are this thing like this menu and it just works so great for the title of the menu and some of the specific headings for each of the types of burgers and stuff like that. It just looks so great and makes a lot of sense here. Just bold and fun and a lot of different ways you can use it but it's always gonna stand out and add some serious personality to your design. So then the next font here is Mono 45 Headline and again you'll see that this is for headlines and even explicitly stated in the title but another thing you'll notice is there are a couple weights of this however they are all caps too but how do you use this for headlines and why do I like it so much? Well this is a mono font which means that the spacing between every letter is gonna be uniform so this works great with things like numbers and tables of numbers which is why I added some numbers as examples but that aside it also just looks really good on numbers. I think a lot more sites lately are kind of incorporating this mono kind of techie fonts into their things and it works so so good for section headlines or titles. So here you'll see that it is actually quite minimal and almost hard to find but they have it on their drop down and I think it's just such a great way of adding some kind of utilitarian -y text to it just adding some more style it works works so well alongside the more bold ones they're using here and I think that's just a great example of it. And then also here this is what got me hooked on it and the reason I downloaded it is when I was browsing Adobe font packs and if you haven't done that yet you can just go to Adobe fonts and click font packs there's some great ones but this is their example for using this mono 45 headline and it just looks so good I'm still super keen to find a great use for it like this when I need some numbers and maybe once I build out the design based website this font will be making some appearances there but if you need any kind of techie mono spaced headline this font is great and it's still quite readable you'll see here at the top left where it says train schedule and northbound there's also a lot of different ways you could use it without the numbers and it would still work great it just feels quite techy and technical so a great font to use for things like that and then this next typeface here is stratos and this is one i found recently and i'm super excited to use this is probably my favorite one if you just wanted to use one family for everything this would be perfect it's crazy how these are the same family but it feels so much different yet obviously still related but such a different use for the all caps versus the standard sentence case. Looking at the sentence case it is a geometric sans serif and really readable in copy, feels quite light, pretty fun but just a good readable font and then going into caps it adds a little more style you can see kind of some inkwells and a little more like the Korolev one I'm using with design base where it's a little more rounded pretty thin and fun but it just works so 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 well for headlines or body and if you just made a full design using different weights and different treatments of this I think it would look great so that's something I'm super stoked to do in the future here but here you can just see how much personality it has while being completely readable and pretty basic and it just looks so 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 good so next time I have a big poster project I would love to try to fit this one in but again it still works so great if you're using the lowercase and that is also something I want to play with and I think this this is just such a great typeface. I definitely think Stratos is one I haven't heard about enough and one that just has so much potential all across everything. I think it would work great amongst the design scene and amongst the gaming scene so really just a lot of different uses and it's gonna work great no matter what so I'd love to see some more ways this can be used. Alright so there we have it, those were 8 of my favorite fonts and I tried to do only versatile ones from Adobe fonts so hopefully after watching this video you're inspired and maybe you can pick up a couple of these right away and start using them in your projects. It is crazy how much you could do just using the ones in this video and it is crazy how many different ways you can use some of these even when they look quite specific, they'll work for a variety of cases so hopefully you can get some good value out of this and sync these fonts right away. I'd love it if you can share with me what you do with them. If you found value in this video, please drop a subscription and like this video. It will help me out a ton. Other than that, I hope you're having an awesome day and go design something great.